By the end of this video, you'll be able to select the most appropriate section of the start page to efficiently begin a task. Here's the situation. You're the new administrative assistant at a large K-8 school. You sign into PowerSchool for the first time and wonder where to start. You need to be able to select the appropriate section of the start page to initiate a task. You understand that, with a little time and experience with the system, things will become easier. So, where do you begin? The PowerSchool start page serves as the central point from which you begin any PowerSchool session. This page consists of four main areas. The header, the navigation bar, the main page, and the main menu. Let's begin by looking at the header. The header appears at the top of PowerSchool and remains there as you navigate from page to page. You have the option to hide the header by clicking the arrow shown here. My recommendation would be to always have the header showing so that you can quickly access the fields found within it. On the left side, you see the PowerSchool logo. If you navigate away from this page to do a task like, say, checking a teacher's schedule, for example, then clicking on this logo will always bring you back to the start page. Looking at the right side of the header, you will see several other fields. Beside the word welcome will be the name of the person signed in and the current user. The online help icon is located next to your name and it is important to remember that help is only a click away. The PowerSchool help features are very informative and provide information relative to the page you're working on. Here's the help information for the start page, for example. If you navigate away to another page, again, let's go to teacher schedules, and you click help, you see that a help menu for that page is available and at your fingertips. To return to the start page, click on the PowerSchool logo. To sign out of PowerSchool, simply click here. This will log you out and return you to the sign-in page. Beside the word school, your current school should be listed and automatically populates when you sign in. Lastly, beside term, you should see listed the current school term that you are working in. If for some reason you want to work in another term or year, click on term, click on the drop-down, and you can choose the desired term from the drop-down menu. Whenever you click on Term, a green check mark will appear beside the window. Click this to quickly verify the number of school days in the selected term. This is something that may come in handy for you down the road. So far so good. You're now familiar with the header and your confidence is building. Now let's move on to the navigation bar. The navigation toolbar is located just below the header and is common to every page in the application. To the right of the bar, you'll see the notification icon and the print icon. If your school has any notifications requiring your attention, the number of notifications will appear beside the exclamation mark. Clicking this icon opens the notifications pop-up. The password security notification is always available and allows you to verify when you last signed in. This information could alert you to any unusual account activity. Beside the notification button is the print key. Clicking this button will allow you to print a printer-friendly version of the current page you are viewing. Lastly, PowerSchool provides a navigational tool called the Navigation Path. As you navigate through an application, a navigation path is created for you. For example, to look at a teacher's homeroom class, click on Teacher Schedules, select the teacher, select the homeroom class, click Enrollment, and a class roster is presented. The navigation path will appear on the left side of the navigation bar. This path displays each step we just made to reach the current page. Clicking on a link in the navigation path will backtrack to a previous page. 
These navigational links or breadcrumbs are useful if you need to retrace your steps for any reason. Some of you may be tempted to use the back arrow in your browser to retrace your steps. It should be noted that this is not recommended. Doing so may unexpectedly log you out of power school. That was simple, right? Your knowledge of the start page is growing and you're feeling great about what you have learned. Now let's look at the main page. The main page is located in the center and is primarily used to perform various searches. The most powerful aspect of PowerSchool is the ability to search the database and find the person or group of people you are looking for so that you can perform a particular function or task with them. By clicking these tabs, you can search for students, staff, and parents in the database using a variety of search parameters. The Smart Search window is located in the center and is used to execute these searches. To get started, you should concentrate for now on becoming familiar with some of the basic searches. When performing a search, all those who meet the search criteria will appear here in the current student selection window. To search for students, select the student tab. To search for a single student, type in the student's last name. Let's use Natasha Baker as an example. Notice that all students with the last name Baker are found. Selecting Natasha will bring you directly to her student record. Let's return to the start page. You now see that Natasha Baker is our current selection. Now, here are some other quick and useful searches. Clicking on any letter here will bring up all students in the school whose last name begins with that letter. Clicking B brings up all students' last name B. Clicking H, all students with last name H. You can also search students quickly by grade. Grade 3, grade 5, grade 8. You can click M for males. That will select all males in the school. Females. If you wish to select some students from any of these lists you produced, click on the Select by Hand button. You can select or deselect as needed to select these students you want to work with. Clicking Update Selection will select those students only. And now they are your current selection. If you need help with searches, click the question mark located beside the search window. A handy search reference will appear for your convenience. Note that the View Field List feature is used for searching as well. You will learn more about this feature in videos found in the Search Commands playlist on the Data Connect PowerSchool Admin video channel. The last section of the main page is the What's New section. By clicking Read More, you will be provided with information on the latest updates and features in PowerSchool. As you have seen, the main page is really the search engine of PowerSchool. You know that, with a little practice, searches will become quicker and easier. You're feeling better than just a few minutes ago and know that you're learning a lot. It is now time to look at the last aspect of the Start page. That would be the main menu. The main menu is located to the left side of the page. Just like the header, you have the ability to hide this menu by clicking on this arrow. I would recommend that this menu always remain visible as you will access it often throughout the day. Here's a brief overview of each menu item. Starting from the top, you see several functions listed. Clicking Attendance will access the Attendance menu where you can perform a variety of attendance procedures. For example, the Power Teacher Attendance Report can be used to verify that all teachers have submitted their homeroom attendance. This would be useful to run when you want to verify that all students are accounted for early in the school day, especially for your Safe Arrival program. Click Daily Bulletin to view any important bulletins that you should be made aware of. 
Clicking Enrollment Summary will provide you with a report showing current enrollments, male and female, by grade level. Clicking on the blue number for males or the pink number for females will bring up a list of those students and allow you to select them if needed. Clicking Master Schedule will allow you to quickly see the entire teaching schedule. This is currently in List View. Scrolling to the bottom of the schedule and clicking Show Preferences will allow you to change your viewing preferences as needed. For example, we can have the eight periods selected. We can select, say, for day A. We can select all rooms, all teachers. We can sort by teachers. Let's view by matrix. It might be a little easier to look at. All the teachers are listed with all the courses they're teaching for that day and that period. We won't take the time to look at the dashboard in this video. When you get a minute, you can check out the information there. Clicking Special Functions will bring up a lengthy list of several functions, a few of which are noteworthy at this point. Daily Bulletin Setup to help you create and edit bulletin items. Enroll New Student, used to add a new student to your school. And lastly, Incident Management. This is where incidents involving students would be logged. This would be similar to the conduct management used in WinSchool. To learn more about incident management, go to the Data Connect site homepage. From the Let Me Try drop down list, choose your role, administrator or administrative assistant. You'll then be able to launch the interactive e learning module on incident management. The last function in that section of the menu is Teacher Schedules. As demonstrated earlier, clicking Teacher Schedules will bring up a list of teachers on the left, selecting an individual teacher will bring up that teacher's current classes. From this view, you have access to the class rosters in each class and the attendance window if you need to quickly edit attendance. The next section of the main menu is the Reports section. Clicking on System Reports brings up a list of reports, many of which you will learn to use as you get comfortable with the system. Because you are new to PowerSchool, knowing about the New Brunswick Reports tab is a better option at this point. Click on New Brunswick Reports. These are useful reports that have been created by EECD and most are used in all schools. Here are a few that are noteworthy. Safe Arrival. This provides a list of students who are absent along with parental contact information. Detailed Behavior. This provides a summary of incident behaviors, actions, and those involved. Medical Alerts Listing. This provides names of students with medical conditions and details. And lastly, Report cards for various levels. Report Works is not applicable at this time, so you need not to worry about it. The next section of the main menu is the People section. The first three functions, Student Search, Staff Search, and Parent Search, can all be accessed from this menu, as well as the main menu, as demonstrated earlier. Next is Enroll New Students. This will open up a menu to help register a child in your school. For this Getting Started video, let's now jump to Setup. The Setup section of the main menu allows you to set up parameters with guidance from your administrative team or the district power school specialists. School Setup is where, for example, you would adjust the school calendar or make adjustments to bell schedules or maybe make some edits with grading or with scheduling as required. As for the system setup, we'll skip this as it goes beyond the scope of this introductory video. 
Clicking Personalize will access the Personalize menu. The only function that you will be using here is the Interface function. Notice that you see the Smart Search Options menu. To learn more about the two Smart Search options, visit the Data Connect YouTube playlist entitled PowerSchool Admin Getting Started. You are only a click away from any help you may need. The last part of the main menu is the Application section. The only application at this stage that you may use is the PT Administrator. PT Administrator gives you access to Gradebook and is used for grading and report card applications as required. Your orientation is complete and your confidence is growing. Now you're ready to take on the task of the day. Congratulations! You've been able to select the most appropriate section of the start page to efficiently begin a task. You're now feeling better about PowerSchool.